Hi there and welcome to another video. In the past videos, you've seen how to set up CentOS 8 in readiness for installing CyberPanel. So in this video, let's see how to install CyberPanel. So I'll just go into Google and I'll search for install CyberPanel because I need to get the script. And then on this page, I can just scroll all the way down and I need to get the script. So I'll copy the script. You do remember that we created a new user and we need to switch to root if you want to install CyberPanel. So I'm just going to do sudo su dash to switch to the root user. All right, so what I need to do now is just paste in. I just paste in this. I don't need to use sudo anymore because I've switched to the root user. So I'll paste in that. And this usually takes time and there will be some interaction you'll need to do. So for now, I'm not going to pause the recording. So install cyber panel, enter the number. Of course, I want to install cyber panel. And then install CyberPanel with Open Lightspeed. Of course, we want to install the free version which uses Open Lightspeed. So I'll do, I'll enter one. And then install the full service. Of course, yeah, I want to install the full service which comes with everything I will need, mail, web, and database server. I'll just enter Y and then enter. So for this, I can just press enter and it's going to choose the default, which will install MySQL as well. We want to install the latest version. So I'm just going to press enter. So you can enter your password right here or, or you can just use the default and you can change the password later. But I'm going to choose a password. So if you want to set a password, you enter S. If you want a random password to be generated, you will, you will do R and D for default, which will give you the default password, which is one, two, three, up to seven. So I want to set a password. So I'm going to enter S. Now enter the password that you want to use. Confirm. Yeah, I will install memcache. Redis, you know what, I'll install it as a small service. It's not going to eat too much of my RAM. So I'll just press enter. Enter. The installation will just continue on its own. And for now, I can pause the recording. And once everything is installed, I will come back. And after that, we're going to log in and see CyberPanel. So I'll see you once it is complete. So it seems that everything has been installed and uh, I can see a warning here, port 25 is blocked. So I won't be able to send email. I won't be able to send mail. If you are on Valtra, this is something that they usually do. If your account is new, like mine, I've never contacted them to open this port for me. So if you're new to Valtra, just contact them and tell them what you want to use your website for. And they're going to open up port 25 for you. They're going to have to ask certain details from you. And once you give them these details, they'll open up port 25 for you. So I can say in start, start the server now, but I know it's just going to crash me out on Valtra. So you can see everything has been installed. If you want to visit, if you want to visit your portal right now, you can go using this. You can use the admin username and the password that you set. Okay. So I didn't generate a password. I set one. So I'm going to copy this. Let me just copy this because I don't want to type. Copy. And let me just see if I can actually restart the server from this end. So you can see that it just closed out my connection. 
and I'm going to have to log back in if I need to do anything else. First of all, let's go and let's go and uh, check out Cyber Panel for the first time. So I'm just going to go into Chrome. And you can see this is a CPU usage for the server that I've set up. Let me just go to the domain. So the connection is not private. And this is just a warning you're receiving because the SSL certificate that has been generated for your IP is a self-assigned certificate. So it won't definitely be recognized by other browsers. And I'll just click there and then I'll click proceed. And you can log into your Cyber Panel account. So I'm going to put in my username by default is admin. And then the password that I set up. All right, there you go. You've set up Cyber Panel. You can add more websites. You can add a website, but you still can't do that because we haven't talked about DNS. So the next video is a very, very important video. In that video, I'm going to talk about DNS. All right. So I will see you in the next video. But most importantly, uh, you have to realize that installing Cyber Panel is the easy part. The more challenging, the more tasking part is a part that we did in the previous videos. And that is how to set up the web server. You saw how to do that. So if you haven't watched those videos, then you need to watch them. Just go back and find the playlist. Find the correct playlist that has all these videos and you're going to watch. And you're going to watch all the videos that you need to watch before you actually install Cyber Panel. So I'll see you in the next video. And the next video is a very important one because I will be talking about DNS and what you can do to set up your DNS. So just for us, I'm going to, in our case, I'm going to use Cloudflare. But if you want to use your domain as your DNS, I'm going to tell you what you need to do to set that up. So I'll see you in the next video.